In this video, I'm super excited to share a review of the book that truly changed my life. And it has become a solution for the things that I have been looking to solve for years. If you struggle with low self-esteem, anxiety, perfectionism, and self-criticism, keep watching. Over the last few years, I have really grown tired of my mind controlling my life. Harsh self-criticism, perfectionism, self-esteem rooted in opinions of others, possessions, achievement, etc. It all got completely out of control. I became a prisoner of my own mind. If someone criticized me at work, I took it personally. If someone didn't like the workshop that I facilitated, I also took it personally. If I made a mistake, I got on my own case for days and sometimes weeks. To make the story short, these tendencies resulted in numerous hours of rumination, negative thoughts, and pain that I have continued to cause myself. Not to mention anxiety, which I actually did not admit to having until I read the book. The pain that I was creating was becoming more and more overwhelming. I felt angry, sad, discouraged, and hopeless. And I also felt like a failure a lot. So I made a short list of the things that I thought that could help me. Meditation, getting my hormonal health under control, elimination of the key stimulants from my life, which is caffeine and alcohol, and talk therapy. And pretty much I incorporated all these practices and tried these approaches to help myself get a better control of my own mind. And even though they helped to some extent, they didn't help me eliminate the root cause and they also did not help me make the shift from negative thinking to more positive thinking. Until I found this book called 10 Days to Self-Esteem. I cannot say enough about how profound the effect of this book was on the way I was thinking and feeling. 10 Days to Self-Esteem is a cognitive behavioral therapy workbook by Dr. David Burns. The reason why it's called 10 Days to Self-Esteem is because Burns got tasked with developing a program for the inner city hospitals that was inexpensive and also fast acting. And originally this program was developed and offered as a 10 day program. Essentially the book contains 10 steps which are a combination of various cognitive behavioral therapy exercises. Each chapter starts with three tests. Burns depression checklist, Burns anxiety inventory, and relationship satisfaction scale. I really like this approach because it's evidence-based. And if you're doubting how you're doing, you can always reference the scores and see the trend line of how you're progressing through the program. For me, this was eye-opening. After completing the exercises for just a few days, I was starting to feel better and I saw the data right in front of me. It was telling me that I was indeed doing better and I could confirm it with the test scores. For the exercises to work, you have to write. And the author repeatedly reminds the reader that writing is key to making sure that these exercises deliver the value that they promise to deliver. For me, it was a pretty low price to get the outcome that I was seeking, so I stuck with it. I actually ended up getting a Kindle version of the workbook, which I did not recommend doing because I had to copy all my all the exercises and all the tests into my notepad and complete them somewhere else. But if you have the paperback copy, you can write directly in the workbook. And I think that will make your experience much better than mine was. However, even though I had to copy those exercises into a separate list, um, I was able to get through the program fairly well. You have to flip from page to page on a Kindle so here are my main takeaways from the book. We think the way we feel. Most bad feelings come from illogical thoughts. We're the only person in the world that can make us feel depressed, angry, sad, or anxious. And we can change the way we feel. A healthy self-esteem is unconditional. It's not based on looks, achievements, possessions, or opinions of others. 
It's simply based on the fact that you're a human being that deserves to be respected and loved. We often apply double standards to ourselves and other people in our lives. We tend to be self-critical and harsh towards ourselves, and we tend to be very compassionate and understanding towards others. In order to have a healthy self-esteem, we need to develop a relationship with ourselves that is a friendship-like relationship, meaning that we treat ourselves as we would treat a dear friend. We're definitely afraid of being ordinary and not special. Our brokenness, our shortcomings and failings can be a source of strength if we confront them and accept them. It's only if we hide them from others, they start to eat away at us and rob us of our joy and make us feel isolated. However, ideas are only half of the puzzle. The main point of the workbook and the main benefit comes through the exercises. One of the main ones follows a simple formula. First, we identify the thought. Second, we identify the feelings that the thought has caused us. Then we identify the distortions that are generated by the feeling. And the final step is we reframe those negative thoughts into more realistic ones. I personally have struggled with, uh, with writing realistic thoughts because I thought a lot of times that they were not good enough. And since I'm working with perfectionism, among many other things, I made a pact and agreement with myself that I will be satisfied as long as I gave it a shot and put effort into it and that would be good enough for me. There are many other techniques and exercises presented in the book to address the same issue from a different angle. So if one does not work for you, there are actually others to choose from. Working through the workbook, it was shocking to see how almost 100% of my thoughts were based on the distorted, illogical thinking. When I journaled about my Monday workday anxiety, I too found out that this was based on illogical thinking. In the moment I reshaped and reframed those thoughts, the anxiety let go immediately. I cannot believe how much BS I have fed myself throughout the years. So this book, when I say it actually changed my life, I don't think those words translate into the impact that it actually has made on me. Looking for the solution to this mind hell that I've been going through over the last few years have made me realize that this one simple technique or, or set of techniques is really helpful to get a good grip on the mind and getting it under control and taming it to the point that I actually feel like now whatever happens in my mind, I can change it in an instant. So my mind, the power of negative thoughts actually has, has let go of its grip. The chapter on perfectionism was probably my absolute favorite. One, I did not know that perfectionism itself had benefits. And two, I did not know that there were so many types of perfectionism. There is relationship, achievement, emotional, perceived, and other types of perfectionism out there. The funny thing is when I took the test, I found myself on almost 100% of categories for it. Perceived perfectionism stood out the most to me. It's the idea that we have to impress others with our looks, achievements, intelligence in order for them to like or respect us. And it's also the idea that if we fail or make a mistake, others will look down on us and will feel shame as a result. To be honest, I didn't consciously realize I had this and it was not easy to let this sink in. So when I was reading the book, it was the chapter where I had to pause to let it process, to let my mind process this idea of uh, me actually having this tendency and um, I was double excited to go back to the exercises to address it. So instead of, instead of sitting in, in sadness, I doubled down on the effort I put into reframing those ideas and thoughts. And knowing that I could transform the way I was thinking about it was super liberating. 
After completing the exercises, I incorporated them in my daily schedule. So every day for 30 minutes, I have daily mood log exercise scheduled, and I continue to address those negative thoughts that pop up throughout the day. I expect some of them will take time to transform completely, but I cannot say enough of how much this book has transformed my relationship with my own mind in just simple 10 days. I was a little bit skeptical that you could develop a self-esteem in just 10 days, but it was actually true. I Every day now, I have a mantra that I repeat that to develop that relationship with myself as a friend and to continue to develop and reemphasize the importance of having an unconditional self-esteem that's not based on achievements, possessions, or opinions of others. And by the way, I saw about 80% improvement in my test scores comparing to when I started to when I did my last test in the book. If you're looking for something that will help you tame your mind and get rid of perfectionism, self-criticism, procrastination, and low self-esteem, check out this workbook. And if you do, please let me know if it was helpful and what you thought about your experience. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.